watching via Facebook Live. And of course, we have here our audience. Finally, the ba? We get to actually spend time together with our press because this is the Connected Movie Media Call. Let's give a round of applause, guys. Yay! We actually have press here. The vloggers, the media people, they're all here together with us at the Coffee Project. It's so beautiful. It really does look like friends. Alam niyan yung raw coffee deals. But of course, it's just like the movie. But anyway, my name is Karen Bordador. And if you guys know me, I am actually the host, the TV talk show host of Pi Night Long. It's an interactive channel, you know, from Pi. And also, a recent graduate of the Big Brothers Season 10 Celebrity Edition. Okay, so this afternoon, we have a lot of people watching all over the world. I'm sure, tuwang tuwa na po kayo kasi ang daming ships talaga na nagsisail ngayong ano, afternoon na to. And excited na po tayong lahat. So, let's have first here, of course, the hashtag. Kailangan niyo po to i-tag, okay? Kasi ang dami nanonood po ngayon. Mag-screenshots na po kayo, mag-post na po kayo on Twitter and Facebook at kung saan man, even on of course, TikTok, go ahead. Tsaka, lahat ng stories mo na pwede yung gawin. Use the hashtag Connected Media Con. Ipatrend na po natin yan, di ba? Nanunod kayo all over the world. Connected Media Con is the hashtag to post. And of course, kung gusto kayong itanong, pwede po namin itanong yan. Aside from the media, you guys can be a part of our event this afternoon. Okay, before anything else, nakita nyo naman po ang trailer ng Connected Movie. And of course, we will get to see the stars and the director of the said movie. Now, anything else? We have to have first the feels of the movie itself. Kaya, pakinggan po natin ang official soundtrack ng ating um, very talaga excited na po kami lahat na ba sa upcoming movie na to. Coming out on July 22. Let's have your Leon Kyla of, of course, <laughs> singing the soundtrack. Yes, hello everyone. Ayan na po. And we got here once again, Leon Kyla performing the soundtrack Saya. Woo! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
sana na masaya po kayo at i-share ko na po ang video na po yun for the soundtrack. Yes, yeah, start sharing and start using it on TikTok! Bahala po kayo, di ba? But I and hope saya, it gave you saya. good vibes kasi ang dami nagbabob ng head nila here in a coffee project. So, masaya naman po kayo. Yes! yes. You guys heard that. I don't mind, but they were loud enough to say that. Pero before anything else, of course, we should have the maker of stars here Dapat with us on the show. Ganyan, ano? And of course, the head of TV yeah. Productions. Woo! Let's give it up for direct Lauren Chucky. Yeah. Hi, Karen. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you everyone for being here with us, for being connected with us in spite of uh, your busy schedule. Thank you so much for We're actually very proud of our simple movie. But with a big heart. Uh, uh, last year, early part of last year, was uh, we had PBB season nine connect, and we had eighteen uh, alumni and six of those uh, uh, members of the house, the batch of housemates, were able to come up and uh, to, to be part of this movie. And we're very proud that this is uh, the first movie of Star Magic Studios. And we're very grateful yes. to the Ted okay. for being generous of his time and talent and energy para gabayan ng ating mga bagong mga artista. And so, uh, with this small project of ours na marami pong magandang mensahe tungkol sa kabataan, sa pag-ibig, sa magulang, eh, we're hoping that people will appreciate uh, this project that uh, we have. And so again, we welcome you and we thank you for being with us today, for getting connected with us. So, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo and I hope you uh, get to watch it at uh, uh, my love event tulad ng mga kapatahan ng So, thank you very much, Karen. <laughs> Direct Lauren, yes, uh, we miss you in the house of Kuya. <laughs> but yeah, let's give a round of applause once again to Direct Lauren. As you can say, sana we are all connected. So here through this movie, we will be. It is a humble movie according to them. But we have big stars already actually and we are gonna meet them. By the way, just to, para malaman nyo po kung gano'ng kabig yung milestone na to, it is actually, the movie Connected is uh, produced uh, by Star Magic Studios. Ito po yung pinakaunang movie na na-produce po ng Star Magic Studios. So it is a milestone. And of course, it's to celebrate the 30th anniversary. So yeah, it's gonna be really exciting. Hopefully, you guys like it. Ito po ay directed by Theodore Boborol. So ito na, ito na yung pinakahihintay nyo to finally ask our artists any questions. Bahala po kayo. And of course, all over the world, pwede na din po kayo magtanong. Let's have here with us, firstly, our director. Let's give it up for direct, Theodore Boborol! There you go, directed. Hi, um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you sa lahat na nandito ngayon sa press. And uh, thank you for coming here to connect with us. Ayan. And now, playing Finn, we have the very quirky, Tantanan, Gail Banales. There you have it. And now playing as Rocky, we have Chico Alikaya. Hi, po. Good afternoon, po, sa inyong lahat. Everyone, to the press, Kapamilya Live. Good afternoon. I'm Chico Alikaya, po, and I hope you will enjoy it today. Thank you. Cute. And now playing Sky is the one and only Richard Wan. What is his nationality? That is the question. Let me have. 
that. Hey, hello everybody. My name is Richard Juan and I play Sky. And it's so nice to be on this side naman and not on the hosting side. So thank you so much guys for being here to connect with us this afternoon. Nice. Okay, now playing as Sandy, we have a supermodel Amanda Zamora. Thank you for being here today and I hope that um, you learn a lot. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Alright. Now playing as Tober, we have the very cute Kobe Brown. Just kidding. Hello po sa inyong lahat. Magandang umaga sa lahat ng press, sa lahat ng nanonood. Um, sana mag-enjoy kayo. Hello. Love you guys. <laughs> oh, sulikot po. <laughs> And now, playing as Gabby, we have the very beautiful Andy Abaya. Hi! to the press, hi po, to everyone na nanonood din sa live stream, connect with us through Zoom, and to Direct Lauren, magandang magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Maraming maraming salamat po sa oras na binigay niyo para bumunta dito sa media ko namin ngayon. Thank you po. Yeah. Let's say hi to our artist and our director. Yes, so take your photos. And sure, we have our local press here, small bloggers, and you know everyone. But of course, we have international press that are watching right now. Can you imagine? We are so connected all over the world. Okay, mo papa nyo kami kung saan man. Actually, we are currently live at the Facebook pages of Star Magic Philippines, ABS-CBN, Star Hot. Pinoy Big Brother, Mix Global, and the Filipino channel. Wag yung makalimutan ko to use the hashtag Connected Media Code, especially to everyone here. Alam ko na po post na kayo ng mga pictures and videos, so please do use the hashtag and ipa trend ko kyan, di ba? Para makonek sa full time lahat. Okay, so let's start our Media Code proper, starting off with Philippine Times Australia. All day. What up, man? So, from TFC, Miss Sherilyn Ramos. Take it away. Oh, I'm the last pala. Australian accent. Oh my gosh. Ano ba yun? Alright. Let's go. I'm going to say that. Okay, so this is from Sherilyn Ramon. There you go. From Philippine Times, Australia. Tingnan nyo. Ang layo na natin. Okay, the trailer says you feel connected. Yet, disconnected. So do you think this generation's reliance on social media has become a weakness for you? So, what do you guys think? Andy, go ahead. <laughs> um, thank you po. Hello po sa inyo lahat. Thank you po ulit sa pagbunta niyo dito. And, dun nga po sa trailer po namin, naka, it was stated na we are connected yet disconnected pa rin. I think na the social media, the internet, is still important in our lives. I believe that it, has, it plays a huge role in our lives. And it, hindi siya always advantageous sa pang-araw-araw nating buhay. So I believe that we have to practice and limit ourselves para maiwasan yung disconnection na yun. We allow ourselves to continue to connect with people, not just through social media, through simple hangouts and bondings, or a simple talk for to your family and your friends, para hindi ito maging hadlang sa relationship na pwede nating mabuo sa lahat ng tao na kapaligid sa atin. And I, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Andy Amaya. Okay, now let's go to Singapore, yes. Siyempre si Richard yan. I think that lang. But sige, let's ask a couple more. Okay, pero let's go first with Richard. And your, I know, your accent. Singapore accent? Yeah, Singapore accent. Sure lang, no problem na. Okay. So this is from Rated J Singapore. Jewel 
we go on that. For the young stars. Being part of Gen Z, do you think that there has been a wider disconnect between you and your parents? If yes, what can you consider as the most evident disconnect between you and your parents? For the younger star, I'm not a home. Gen Z, millennial now. No, 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 you're, you're still considered Gen Z, so go rich. Um, well, for me, I think with for me as a millennial, hindi ko naman masabi na we're disconnected with the family. Kasi for me, I've always, um, I, in fact, social media has been such a huge part, like with, the, with technology and all that. I'm able to, there's a WhatsApp group, there's a Facebook group where you chat your family every single day. And actually, I think my mom might be watching right now. Hi, mom. And it's been two and a half years since I last saw her because she has been she was in Hong Kong. She's still in Hong Kong right now and I didn't get a chance to fly back and see her. So I would say, in fact, social media really connected us as a family together much better. Oh, there you go. So, no disconnection with you guys. How about you, Ralph? Oh, wow. Because it's not easy to be before. Yes, but we're back again. We're connected again. We're back again. We're back again. We're back again. We're no disconnection. And you, Gail, what do you have to say? I mean, for me, relationship-wise with our families, the connection is very good. But in terms, siguro, if we're gonna go very deep, you could go into beliefs because there's such an influx of information on the internet ngayon. So, parang hindi sana yung mga parents namin with that information and knowing so much kasi diba our parents ay ang dami mong alam, diba? So, yun, I would have to say that's the distance between our parents and us. Oh, true, because we do know a lot of things now. <laughs> That's right, okay. But anyway, moving on, let's have the naman direct. Okay, direct then. The question specifically for you. Ang tanong niyo po ay, teen shows have become a trend genre today. So where do you attribute this? And what makes you connected to the young artists? Okay, so yun na nga, uh, medyo trending yung mga teen genre these days, right? I think the reason why it's trending is because for the past two and a half years, naka-lockdown yung mga teens. So parang feeling ko, watching these shows, parang escape sa kanila or aspirational sa kanila na if only we live in normal times, ito yung mangyayari sa damn life ko, ito yung ito yung kung paano ako <laughs> tumahin dito <laughs> kumaroon <laughs> so so parang feeling ko feeling ko yun medyo escape and aspiration for the teens and then I relate with them kasi I try not to be judgmental I mean Gen X ako sila Gen Z so may Y na 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 sa gitna pero hindi ako na, I'm more of being judgmental mas iniintindi ko yung situation because after all um, nasa movie action na kahit ano naman yung generation mo um, stories of uh, youth, medyo na, ibang beings lang, pero similar pa rin yung circumstances na pinagdadaan nyo namin na. Okay, so basically, sa mga manunod, ito po yung magiging gusto nyo pa sa sarili nyo, ba? For all the youth out there, syempre kasi ngayon, the new normal, we're just starting to hang out with each other. So ito po, they're living up your dreams. <laughs> In other words, but anyway, we do have some people over Zoom, mga media po, and uh, let's go once again to Australia from 92.3 FM 3ZZZ Melbourne Ethnic Community Radio. Let's have here TFC's Miss Liz Honey. Hi, good afternoon, guys. Um, I don't, I don't have a um, question, but I watched the um, the trailer and just want to. Say congratulations to the young ones because actually, um, honestly, I haven't, um, um, I don't know most of you, but the but uh, it's great to see that the new young ones now that's upcoming, so positive and um, great actors, and I think you guys going to go, um, going to uh, go further with your and all with your craft. So thank you so much for sharing your knowledge, guys. And uh, with the internet, they mentioned about with the internet and all that. Um, it's great to have that. And uh, with the youngsters actually um, teaching us how to use it. So um, just that's all I can say. I don't have specific questions to you, but just to say congratulations. Thank you so much. 
Thank you so much, Miss Liz. And yes, they are fresh faces because majority of them they just graduated from season nights of PDP. So ito po yung mga uh, mga upcoming artists. Some of them have done mga movies already, but yeah, this is their biggest movie together. Sino pa na gawa dito ng ano movies? TV shows meron na mga ba? Si Kobe and Ani they have a movie. Uh, they have a TV show right now, and it's called Go Ahead and Promote It. Yeah. July 22. Loving for like days, every weeknight at 10 p.m. Directed by Derek Mani Yes, and this is also starring uh, Loisa, Loisa Andalio and Ronnie Alonte. And I hope you guys support and watch. It's every weeknight nga po. And marami po kayo matututunan dito. It's how um, the other side connects with the living. So it's really interesting. Yeah. And also, Ralph Malimuna is a show right now. Let's go promote the radio. Yes, guys, we're going to show you the Pi Channel, Channel 21, and the Sky Table. And of course, you can go to pi.com.ph slash join din, you know, alam mo na sa studio talaga. Pero ayun nga, pwede niyo ako mapanood doon every, every day at uh, 3 p.m. hanggang 7 p.m. Support, support. Pai Galina na siya. Yes. Okay, and moving forward, this is from Tag 91.1 FM Dubai. Ito po ay from TFC, Georgia Fritata. Wala siyang question. Okay, sige. Let's go muna to ABS-CBN Global. Local? Oh, Miss Tess. Miss Tess. Hello, everyone. There you go. Okay, our first question here is uh, like the like this coffee project. We have Mami Job on Sun. Hello, congratulations! Hello. Thank you. Because the title of the movie is connected, if you'll be given a chance, who will be your dream connection? <laughs> Let's start with directed. Who do you want to make sure? Oh, God. Who do you want to make sure? Okay, now. I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, um, yeah. Serious. Serious. Do you want to make a spiritual connection? For me, uh, my dream connection, oh my God, ang dami sana. Pero at the moment, I'm really curious as to um, a K-pop artist, CV of BTS. Oh. Oh. Yes. Wish list, diba? Siya yung favorite ko pa sa'yo. <laughs> Andy, go okay. ahead. For me, I do have a connection since these people are really important in my life, my family. I just want to further develop that connection I have with them. I want to continue to be closer with them, continue to build genuine and blissful memories with them. Pre-production pa lang ano na kami, matagal na kasi we did some line script readings, um, tapos parang nagpa naman interview pa with the writers about their lives, and then before we shot the movie, meron pa kami mga acting workshops with Derek Ryan Carlo, so medyo, ano, medyo, yun na, bonded sila. At the same time, I think it's our face-to-face -face bonding also after PBB since uh, we shot this during the pandemic at medyo hindi pa kaling ka uh, relax yung rules no? So, matagal, matagal yung bonding, no? Chico, go ahead. Uh, I think, well, sa akin, uh, marami, marami talaga. Pero I think uh, my sister, kasi sobrang uh, miss ko na talaga siya. And she's all the way in Cebu. Pero alam ko naman na, I think you're, you're watching, so 
ISIS, and yeah, and also what Amanda said uh, with them. It's really amazing, amazing experience. This is my first time uh, doing uh, abroad, especially with like direct. And the whole experience after we after PDP and everything was really nice. So yeah, um, I wish I could have this still, you know, I and mean, the whole thing. So yeah. More hangouts in the future, no? Okay, and of course Richard won. Um, for me, no, but I think my dream connection would be with myself, my inner self. Because oh, to be <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes um, I feel like I'm getting to a point of my life where I want to know a little bit better about myself and what I really want in life. And I'm not passionate now. And I'm working very hard every single day. Hopefully, I can find it. And hence why I want to connect myself. I want to connect to myself better. So, yeah. And by the way, he just finished hosting for PDB recently. So that's why he's elsewhere hanging out with Sandara Park. Oh. <laughs> Hashtag check out his Instagram right now. Yeah. Thank you, Karen. Thank you for promoting my Instagram too, Karen. <laughs> All right, and now Kobe. Oh, um, you know, gusto ko yung yung tapay ko, yung dad ko. Um, that's who I want to form a dream connection with. I mean, my connection to my family. But we haven't seen it for two years now. So, Sana, I hope you're watching that. You know, I hope I'm making you proud. And Sana, we'll see you soon. I mean, I hope to see you soon, Dad. You probably wouldn't understand that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And next, Ralph. Um, Grabe, medyo same yung sa amin ni Kobe eh. Yung dad ko din kasi yung tagal kong hindi nakilala. Nakasama yung dad ko din. Parang ilang years na po so nakakamiss din na may parents and may dad sa bahay. Pero ayun po, nakakamiss lang na may tatay na nag-aalaga po sa'yo. Kasi iba, iba, iba po yung feeling na may tatay sa bahay. And yung siya talaga yung magiging, magiging ano po sa bahay na yung mag-aalaga sa inyo. Nakakamiss lang, pero sana soon. Uh, shout out po sa'yo. Huh? Shout out. 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 Shout Okay, we have a question here from Salve Asis of Filipino Star ngayon. For everyone, kailan yung naramdaman na connected na kayo sa showbiz? Let's start with si Derek Ted na lang. <laughs> well, my first um, showbiz um, job was as, a, as creative researcher sa Star Cinema. Pero usually yun kasi behind the scenes lang eh, so hindi, hindi namin, yung hindi mo na ano yung glitz and glamour or yung shoot. So parang feeling ko yung, feeling ko connected na ako sa showbiz nung naging part ako, nung original tanda, na, original <laughs> pangako sa'yo. So yun yun, yun kasi yeah. I was one of the writers in that teleserye and then dun, parang kaming family, we did that so for more than three years. So parang dun ko natutungan lahat itong goal sa showbiz. Yeah. 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 Oh, for me, naman. Okay, so since I was a kid, I've always wanted to be an entertainer. Pero in terms of show business to sa Pilipinas, actually the first teleserye I watched was Pangako Sayo. So, like, connection already, yeah? Yeah. It's a connection already, yeah? Yeah, and that was actually a show that inspired me to learn Tagalog. Because I'm from the States. And then, actually, like watching ASAP, the feeling of seeing people perform, it makes my body shake. And someday I want to perform here as well. So yes. Since bata pa. And Andy? For me naman po, um, I really, I've been dreaming to be part of show business since I was younger. I did commercials, I did acting since I was younger. And siguro mas na-connect ko yung sarili ko sa totoong buhay ng show business. Nung nagkaroon ako ng unang project, which is also a dream and the entitled. And it was my first ever movie project, and actually it's gonna be, you'll be able to watch it on Netflix this July 29, so abangan niyo yan. And having to do that movie project, having to work with well-known stars, really inspired me 
with how they really, they, they're really passionate about their craft. And I want to be passionate as well. So every day I, I continue to hone my skills, every day I continue to prove to myself na kaya kaya ko rin na magiging magaling na So you have a Netflix movie upcoming, you have a TV show, and you have connected the movie. Wow, amazing. All right, and Amanda, of course. Just like the voice that you shared about uh, showbiz when I was young. Nanam pa pa siya, nawa ang kondo lang kaya ako naman. Tanong na ako. Be the fan, the guys who stand behind the bars. Then I used to buy tickets from fan clubs on Twitter. And then, and then now I feel more connected. There was a time I did feel disconnected because I struggled and I didn't know how to do it. But then seeing the, slowly seeing the results of my hard work makes me appreciate every step of the journey. By the way, Amanda's a model. Like she, she does runway modeling and commercials. Why well, you've seen her commercials before? So there, Amanda Zamora. And now Chico. Uh, uh, I think um, surreal talaga. I think ngayon ko lang na feel na nasa showbiz ako na para nakita ko na yung oh yeah, the mall show. And I think. Uh, you know, I'm talking to some of my people and they're like, oh, you're going to sing. And I was like, ah, you're going to be true. I mean, I was just seeing this when I was a kid. And I was like, oh, it's really going to happen. So, I think now, um, personally, I have to make myself grounded. And that's why I'm going to learn. Because of course, uh, First of the uh, movie and doing it with uh, really talented director dreams come true, no? And now Richard. Um, for me, I think honestly, I grew, I grew up without wanting to be part of showbiz because my parents, my family, and I used to say that I go to show. No, stereotypical. Yeah. No, no. But eventually, I think the, the point where I feel that I'm so connected to the showcase was after PDB season go, which was a while back. Because I don't think I graduated from college and I'm in showbiz now. I'm like, 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 I'm and after a couple of years, here I am now, still sitting on here and doing my first movie, in fact. I, uh, I'm very happy to be, of course, working with Direct Dead, because one of my first guesting on Teleseria was actually with Direct Dead then. So, full circle moment para sa atin, though. Yeah. And speaking of PDB, siya po ay from season 7. Seven three seven. Seven three seven. And what can you search on Kailan Payan? Maybe face for it now, man. Sabi ka nila eighteen years old now, eh? I've been eighteen for so for like the last ten years. Right. And by the way, with businesses on the side, oh, not just an an artist, but a businessman. Oh. And now Kobe. Ako um, dante sobrang niya ako. I this was never a dream for me before because I'm so camera shy. I didn't like being in front of cameras. Hindi ko gusto yung mga VTRs. So, you know, I'm surprised I'm here. I'm really surprised I'm here. But every day I'm just working day by day trying to improve myself sa acting, uh, sa singing in my Tagalog. But I think when I felt really connected to show was when we did um, our movie. When we did our movie, connected. Um, this was a big project for me to work with one of the best directors, see directed. Um, I was like, wow, ganyan talaga. I mean, this is how it really is. Uh, be here to put in this hard work, the work on a movie. So, definitely you connected experience. Thank you so much, Kobe. And now, Ralph. Hello. 
Alam ko ako din po, sobrang pangarap ko po talaga ang makapasok sa showbiz. Dati pa lang po, kasi nag-extra po ako dati sa mga TV shows, sa mga teleserye. Pero likod lang po yung nakikita sa akin. Kaya, sina? Likod lang. Tapos yung mga office mate, yung nurse po yung mga role ko, ganun, mga crowd. Tapos po itong araw po palagi yung shoot. Pero tinitiis ko yun kasi nagpapakasakali po ako na madiscover po ako. Pero hindi po siya nangyari. <laughs> Nag-ibang bansa muna po ako para mangyari yun. So, ayun po. Um, pero masayang experience po yun. Dahil nakita ko po din kung paano po talaga ginagawa yung mga shows. Pero na-feel na ko po na-connected na po sa showbiz nung ginagawa nga po itong connected na movie. Kasi parang sabi ko, we directed tapos <laughs> pinapanood ko <laughs> pinapanood ko lang po yung mga movies niya nga po yung kila Liza, kay Josh Lea tapos yung lumabas na po yung trailer namin nakikita na po namin yung pangalan namin doon <laughs> diba? <laughs> diba? <laughs> tapos ayun din yun, nagkaroon nga po ako ng hosting po sa Pai Channel na parang araw-araw po na sa ABS po tapos minsan maglalakad po sa hallway, makikita ko po yung mga ibang artista, tapos pinipigilan ko po yung sarili ko na, so magpapitsyo. <laughs> <laughs> pero nahihiya po sa kanila, baka busy po sila, pero nai-starstruck po talaga ako, pero sobrang saya po talaga, and sobrang blessed po ako. Siyempre, nagpapasalamat din po ako sa Pinoy Big Brother, dahil, kundi dahil din po sa kanila, <laughs> kundi dahil din sa kanila, di po, magka, di po makakasali po dito sa Connected Young Movie. Thank you po. In God's time talaga, for yes. everyone, no? <laughs> Next is... We have a question here from Irvin Santiago, of course, entertainment editor of Bandera. Um, Siguro specific na lang kay Andy, tsaka kay Kobe. Um, sinong kapamilya lang team ang idolo ninyo? Start with Andy. Okay, kapamilya love team na idol ako. I believe na the love teams here in this country are really talented. And grabe yung hirap na hirap and hard work na binigay nila to get where they are. And I love Katniel. I would always watch their movies. Nadadala talaga ako sa story ng movies nila. And I, I'm inspired by how hard they work, by how they really put their all sa trabaho ng to, kaya naka-inspire talaga siya. Okay, Kobe? Ako po, ang favorite ko. I think a lot of the fans know this, pero I am like a big fan of JD, especially si Jane Zui. Idol mo siya talaga. Um, ano, Otwal. And um especially CJ James Um I was lucky to get to meet him, even the Dean Din uh the other week with Andy. Um <laughs> They're, they're people I really look up to, especially how long they've been in the industry. She James na, um, going go BBB din siya, going big abroad. Sina din din. So I really look up to those two people. You're getting there. You guys are getting there. Otherwise, I start off with Connected. Okay, next we have here Nikki Wang, entertainment editor of Media Standard. Hello, good afternoon. I'm here. Uh, I only have one question, and, and this question is for Directed. Uh, first of all, Derek, uh, congratulations for this new project. Now, my question is, um, well, basically, the, the cast members of this film are you know, generally uh, showbiz newbies, except for, for Richard, who's been in uh, the for quite some time now. Now, what can you say about the potential of this uh, group of uh, actors and actresses? In terms of their, um, you know, um, yeah, their, their potential as stars and movie, their potential as movie stars. That's why. Okay. Sure, but yung ang movie naman sa pagkano sabi ko ang laki ng potential. Kasi 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 lang. But you know what? Um, I will. Medyo first, I have to clarify that it's Derek Lauren who who really saw a huge potential sa kanilang lahat. He was the one who told me that uh, make a movie uh, starring these former housemates. 
So, yun yun. And pag si Derek Lauren yan, idol ko yun. I mean, mentor ko siya. So, alam ko ang dami niya napasikat before gimmick days pa. So, so, um, so, I agree with him. Pero, siguro bias din ako. Because actually, part ako lagi ng mga final interviews ng TV. So, I saw them mula pa sa start. And nung nakita ko na sila sa interviews pa lang, dun pa lang naman nakita ko na yung potential nila. Um, nakita ko yung potential nila na maging artista. And it's really, kasi may isang it factor, may isang x factor. In fact, ang weird niya ng, um, Ah. Parang, ang weird niya kasi nag-judge pa ako sa kanilang parang drama episode sa PBB before <laughs> na ang director sa si Andy at saka si Ralph kami ni Maya Maya at saka ni Edward yung nag-judge ng task nila weekly task yun, no? nanalo ba kayo? Natalo kayo, no? Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, mata mataas yung scores namin eh, ay, ng Mayward but, but, dun pa lang nakita ko na na oh my gosh, magaling itong mga batang to magaling sa lang Omarte but alam ko, alam mo naman sa showbiz it's not really just about Uh, seeing that that potential or that X factor, kailangan meron ding hard work, meron ding uh, determination, professionalism, and yun dun naman nila ako napahanga nung nag-start na yung project na to. Because sa start pa lang, when the writer, Rose Colleen, the guest concept, conceptualized the story, uh, binase talaga namin, kasi ako, ang idea ko talaga since nag-director rin ako ng mga newbies before, sina Liz Ken, Josh Lea, nung nag-start na sa sina Blythe, it's really more of kailangan, or even Loini, kailangan talaga hindi malayo sa personality nila. So, ang naging strategy namin ng writer is we interview them one-on-one, -on -one, an in-depth interview, and binayas namin sa mga real-life story, real, uh, real life stories nila, yung background ng characters nila. So, doon pala, the fact that they were so open about sharing their story, and then pagdating sa... Pag, ang gusto ko sa, sa mga newbies, na, na babaro the bull mo. <laughs> yung nasa sabi mo, straight forward, na pangit yan, chu 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 and ano sila eh, they listen, they, 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 um, kahit dinalan ko sa joke, alam mong the next time mag-improve ka, like, if you've only seen kung ano yung, kung ga, ano sila, ano nag script reading sila, tapos nakita nyo yung movie, ang layo, <laughs> ang laki ng difference, and I was so shocked, kasi it was just a matter of like, parang two or three months, uh, comparing yung script reading to, to kung ano yung nangyari yes. sa movie, and, The fact that this is just their first movie, yun dun pala, oh my gosh. Kasi minsan kasi sa pag-artista, sanayan lang yan eh. Habang tumatagal yung projects, nasasanay sila kung may nerves mo na sa start, naging comfortable. So yun yung pinaka-excited pinaka ako na kung anong gagawin nila after this movie, after makita ng mga producers yung movie na to, kasi yun naman yung aim din ng Star Magic to launch these actors. Kung nakita doon mga producers and they will be casted in various roles or in what, so kung ano man yun, sobra magiging proud of what magiging excited for them. So, uh, just a uh, follow-up lang. So, is it safe to say na hindi ka nahihirapan directing these guys? Siyempre, nahihirapan din. Ayaw ko naman mapaka... Ayaw ko naman mapaka-plasa. Kasi they're newbies. And hindi naman sila lang yung newbies na nahihirapan ako. Um, Siyempre, kahit yung before, nahihirapan din naman ako sa iba. Um, kasi usually naman, if you've seen my filmography, it's always me launching love teams or actors, tama James, di ba? So, mula TV show, di ba? From Annalisa and, and Angelito, JM. So, medyo, medyo, that's, yun nga, yun yung busy na. Sometimes, may mga technicalities ka lang mapag-ituro, markers, kung paano yung um, blocking and what have you. So, yes, mahirap yung part na yun, pero, eventually, pero, sinasabi ko rin na kahit mahirap siya, na, um, medyo may sense of relief kasi in a few days, I'm pride, kasi in a few days, mabilisin sila matuto. So yun, yun yung pinaka-takeaway ano, pinaka ko. Alright, thank you, Direk. Thank you so much, Direk. By the way, we are the very beautiful coffee project right now. If you're seeing this, it's so pretty talaga. Ang ganda ng ambiance. We are now, once again, a coffee project. Will Tower, where you can enjoy good coffee and, of course, great ambiance. Or even hold your events, of course, just like this one. They also have 64 branches, FYI. So check out those near you. You can go to the website, www.coffeeproject.com.ph and see, again, which, uh, you know, you can actually visit. Next, okay. I have a question here from Alan Sanko. Hi, good afternoon. Nice to see all of you. Yeah. Kung baga, first question ko kay Director Muna. Follow up ka lang yung sa tanong mo, sabi mo kanina na sabi mo may mga yung newbie pa yun mong sabihin na hindi ka magaling. Doon sa mga, nasa, sa mga before ba ng mga 
mga matatagal ng artist, meron kang gusto sabi at pero hindi mo masabihan. May mga ganun ka bang situation? Na hindi okay hindi naman, hindi naman. Hindi, hindi naman, hindi naman. As a director, kailangan mo pa rin sabihin yung kung hindi mo bet yung acting nila, di ba? Pero siguro ang madali ng pag-newbie, minsan walang filter. Minsan hindi magaling yan. Dapat ka, di ba? Pag medyo sikat na, mga alaga ng business dati. Kailangan mong siyempre ni... Subtle, subtle. Dapat siguro we can do something like this or can we do another take na mas subtle lang. So, kumbaga, part of the kulang ng pag-unap ako. Walang hiya. Walang hiya kung nasasabi ng derecho. Na alam ko naman na uh, sinasabi ko yun yung professional way. Hindi naman para ma-hurt sila or ma-ano something. Kaya lang, ma madali lang on my part kasi wala. Hindi ako nag-filter. What? Alam kong walang ego itong mga ito. Parang gagawin nila ang lahat para mapaganda yung uh, role and acting. Kung mga wanna mention yung eh. joke lang. Hindi <laughs> joke lang. Yung tanong ko lang ano, dun sa mga, ito yung mga artist ng, ano, ng Connected. Kung baga, kasi parang this is the first project ng Star Magic Studios, di ba? Parang na-feel nyo ba yung excitement and especially pressure na kayo yung magbibida sa unang-unang Star Magic Studios? And anong naramdaman nyo sa dinami-dami ng mga Star Magic na pwedeng magbida? Kayo yung unang pinangili for this. Uh, sa akin po, yung project nito, malating karangalan. Um, Really good. The other classes are working. Um, <laughs> and I just want to say, it's been a little last year in the PDG, and now we're starting in this movie. And I am just so grateful that they've trusted us. She directed, she directed Lauren, all the big bosses, Star Magic. Um, it's such a great blessing. and. You know, I wouldn't have wanted to uh, do it with any other cast. It's it's a great learning experience for all of us. You and you both. So basically, you guys are launching this big ship, and we're doing it with your faces and your talents, guys. Yes. <laughs> Imagine that, Sir Alan. Wait, yeah. oh, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, Amanda. Oh, 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 oh. I remember because the director that tweet. This project is giving us a lot of face-to-face ganaps that we haven't experienced because like mostly prior to getting evicted we would go live and then we would do on all like online guest things but then now we have mall shows even things now we couldn't do like towards the end of the year last year because of the other level so we're really lucky now that we can do them yeah because unlike you car although sa'yo ano na rin no yung PGP transition na eh. pandemic season. So, yung pandemic season, wala silang mga guest things after they uh, or were evicted. Yung, di ba, yung parang yung big bang nila, parang sila lang. Nasa <laughs> bahay. Sila, sila lang. So, parang ito talaga yung I'm very excited for them. Kasi, like, ito first face-to-face -face media ko nila. Hindi nila, hindi nila experience, I mean, unlike other housemates, ito, ito pa na yung na-experience sila. First, mall show, first, Marami pa kami i-announce later, hindi ko ma-preempt, pero sobrang, kaya sobrang isa din ako for them. Yes, so it's their first time to actually be with everyone here. So it's a very exciting moment. Sir Adam? Last question ako for Anna Rao. Kasi parang kanina mo pa gusto kong biyak eh. Pero hindi ko bilang. I'm just curious kasi parang napansin namin, I don't know kung ako lang napansin or you know, you are, ano, look alike ni Robin na rin. Aww! Kahawin ka nila, no? Nagsisimula si Robby, ganyan. Uh, yes. So, ano ba yung gusto mong tahakin yung show? Kasi si Robby talaga tinahang niya yung hosting eh. Ngayon, you're acting, di ba? Oh, yeah. Ano yung gusto mong patunayan this, uh, this show is in the state? To host or to, to act? Para? Ako po, gusto ko po talaga mag-acting po talaga. Gusto ko po talaga i-focus po talaga yung acting. Pero sobrang thankful din po kasi binigitin po sa akin yung hosting sa PAI dahil Ayun din po, para na-practice din po talaga and feeling ko training ground po siya for me in case lang na, na gawin din po akong host at least ready po ako. Pero for me po, kung bibigyan pa po ako ng mga projects po, ng mga teleserye, movies, talagang gusto ko po talaga acting, acting career po talaga. Gusto ko po talaga yung mga, yung mga gumagalang kanyo. Akala mo lang wala. Mga ganun-ganun po talaga. Pero hindi po kami dito ha. Totoo po to. Gusto ko yung mga ganun. Yung ibong... Yung gusto ko po, pangarap ko po talaga yung magkakaroon ako ng lines na sisikat. 
Tapos yung tipong kapag pinanood po ng mga tao, yung parang kay John Lloyd po na sabi niya, yung kilabay ako na sa akin. Ay, tawa mo. Kapag ganun-ganun po nila. So, hindi ba yung mga ganun? Tapos yung I deserve an explanation. Mga ganun-ganun po. Gusto ko po talaga yun. Kaya, direct na rin. Shout out to you. Oh, first movie mo to. Yes. He's very talented. He's a great host actually. Sumasiyo na rin po siya doon. Kumakanta all around na actually. And now, he will show you, you know, his acting skills na rin. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks Alan. Next we have here, Chicken Nips. Yay! Hey, my boy. Hi. Leo. Hi. 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 Um, looking at this um, stars, mayo. Ikaw ba parang um, feeling mo ba ma ma sustain yung 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 success mo in terms of launching those stars or feeling mo kailangan pa ng push? Gusto ko maging confident and say yes, kasi. Huwag na lang. Kasi yung pati yung record ko, wala, wala, lahat naman yung launch ko sumingkat na. Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Yeah. 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 Hello! Kapag sige, mababa siya ko online, ka-ansel. But, yeah, uh, again, it's really not about me. Uh, for me, hindi siya tukol sa akin. It's really tukol sa kanila. Kung sumingkat pa yung mga na-launch ko, because of, it's really because of their hard work. Yun talaga. Um, yun naman talaga eh. Kung wala, kung wala follow up, kung after ni launch tumatamad-tamad nagiging unprofessional or or sino mo gusto maka-work ng mga yun so nasa kanila talaga yun like for me pagka sa akin yun open ko lang yung doors yun open lang ng Star Magic Studios yung doors for them na pag nakita ng producers tong movie na to hopefully sabihin nila oh pwede pa lang i-cast to sa TELESEM pwede pa lang pwede pa lang ng dream role nila so yun yun na yung hinohope ko yun yung hinohope pero ikaw ba, do you feel somehow parang accountable eh, sa kung anong pwede mangyari sa akin? Ang hirap. I think it's not for me to answer, but siguro yung ano na lang ng mga tao. <laughs> tingnan na lang nila yung filmography ko sa internet and then tingnan nila kung... Ang hirapang natin siya kami. Cancelled, cancelled na ako. Hindi naman. Pero, so hindi naman. Siguro ano lang, I work well. I work well with newbies. Ito na siguro. Siguro that's my strength. I work well with newbies. Hindi yung napapalabas mo yung ganong chemistry na parang, di ba initially, ay hindi ko naman yun expect na may ganun pala. Di ba parang yung kayo being scattered? Parang kayo rin pala sa'yo. Congratulations, Dera. Thank you, thank you. To Ralph Gale naman. Kasi nakita ko yung ano, yung sena. Ano? Hanggang ano yung nakita mo kay Ron? And ano yung... Um, sa akin na lang yun. No, nakano naman siya. Um, brief spanks na ano. So, wala akong nakita. Oo, and he was covering himself mo with the shower curtain ba yun? Oo, pero kung sinabi naman ni Direk na wala, okay lang ako sa... Ang mga patanin. Okay lang sa akin. Basta, sinabi ni Direk, eh, wala, pinalagyan niya po ako ng ganun, pero wala pa nga po eh. Wala pa nga yung eksena, naka-brief na naglalakad. Sabi ko, Ralph, pamaya na lang. Excited po, no? Excited pag mature road. Full mature road. Pero ayun po, game lang po talaga ako. Kaya, baka meron po kayong maalok sa akin. Sa akin. Pero ngayon ba, are you at a point where in your settled na na somehow kayo na talaga yung pinag-prepare? Kasi di ba before parang may iba pang nililink, kanyan. Sa inyong dalawa, how was it? Ako for me po, yes. Yes, kasi parang ang gaan po talaga ang trabaho ni Gail. And siya pa yung talagang mismong tinutulungan niya ako bawat eksena po talaga. So, chini-cheer up niya ako po ako. So, maganda po yung para sa akin kasi 
I mean, I mean, I mean, enough. what's the dream work, team work, I mean? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Ayun, parang ganun, ayun. Basta parang team work po talaga kami sa team work. Team work makes the dream work. Yeah, let's go. Ayun po. Sa yun, sa yun, Gayo. Sa akin naman, um, it wasn't an easy, ano, experience. Pero, yun nga. Grabe yung mga prayers ko kay God at that time actually na parang Lord, ano ba talaga dapat mangyari? So then, there were instances in our experience na like, we had to bond and get closer. And yun, even dun sa bahay ni Kuya, I always saw something in him. And you know, I always believed in him from the start. So parang to be able to work with him and to see him grow then, it's a pleasure for me as well to be his something part. Yes. Congrats, ha? Thank you, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Sa Chihuahua naman. Yeah. Parang pili ko si Chico lang, hindi ko na kausap sa lahat. <laughs> um, ay, congratulations. Naalala ko yung kwento kanina ni Amanda. Parang yung nagpapaka-fan siya ganyan. Kagkakasama kami. Punta kami ng dressing room ni Liza. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh. Ay, may nagpapicture ako kay Liza. Okay, yes. Yung maliit, ay hindi. Parang teenager. Early teens niya, pero mas, mas matanggal pa siya sa akin. Parang hindi niya ako matanggal. Anyways, yun, yung for, for you both naman, kasi yung love team niyo was somehow unexpected. In a sense na parang, parang based on my conversation before kay Amanda, parang hindi kayo aware na pinipair up na pa na kayong dalawa. Ganyan, sa loob ng bahay. And then eventually, ganun na ngayon nangyari. Parang, paano niyo Ano yun? Gano'ng katindi yung pressure sa kwart ninyo para i-build yung ini-expect sana nilang chemistry for both of you? And how are you doing it? Uh, yung sa movie, parang i iba siya kasi uh, the best part of it, uh, naka music video na kami siya, Amanda, and okay, going back, na-shock talaga kami kasi going eviction, tumatawa na kami, nag-rules na kami na parang, oh, na tayo. Yung paglabas namin, so overwhelming na parang, oh, there's Chimanda, oh, there's like, oh, oh, really? Nangyari to. And parang, next was the video again, and then next was the MMFF, but overall, parang we enjoy every moment. Uh, anong makuha namin oportunidad? Sobrang saya namin sa shoot namin kapag uh, I'm nervous, kapag siya yung nervous, parang, oh, kaya na ito. And we do this handshake, and then, Let's go, let's go, let's do it. And then, you know, let's give them a show, parang ganon. And then, yun, um, na-shock kami na parang, you know, others a movie, and then doing it with Cody, and then especially Richard and Ralph Gale, kasi they're really talented people, and most especially si Tarek, then, parang, wow, hey, um, parang nag-shot na, kaya, kaya to, kaya to. So, yung, when we went there, na, I think, um, it was enjoying, enjoying every moment, but, yun, know, parang ganon. So, to be honest, in the start, medyo nakaka-pressure because we're also not both very much social media people and it's shocking. Parang, it, for me, it makes it more unnatural to parang pretend to like, so is this, so is that. But then if you just let us on our own, I mean, not in this case. <laughs> 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 Um, I feel like it's been it because like, you do things for the camera, but then our connection is really um, strong. And there are times that we don't get along, but then if you do it, what do you fix it in like five minutes? Five minutes! <laughs> but yeah, I'm really grateful that he's my love team partner because. I would maybe some would think that the age gap would make it awkward, yeah. but no, it doesn't. We have a lot of similarities. We have a lot of same favorite things, and yeah, we we really click. I think that's really important. Thank you. Thank you. And to Kodreya, naman. Masakit ba yung sampal? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, di naman. Kaya? <laughs> um, yung sampal ko, actually, gusto ko magiging totoo yun. Like, I told Andy, sabi ko kay Andy, 
and he just hit me as hard, like just let out all your anger and hit me as hard as you can. I said, "Kusto ko to toy." Pero natato ako sa first, sa first, sa first, sa first day, sa first day. Oh, but masakit naman ako ng panani. Ilang takes ba yun, Derek? Parang tapa. Marami ka sa maraming angulo. Oo, oh, maraming angulo. So, gustong gusto <laughs> si Andy. Example. <laughs> How was it for you, Andy? Parang paano binilang yeah, yung anger? Have, did you have any anger at me? Was there like... Anything? Um, syempre, unang nag-aalangan pa po ako kung paano ko po i... yung hindi masyado masakit. But then, Ala, trabaho eh. <laughs> Kailangan maging totoo kasi tingnan. Yeah. So I felt bad na namumunan na yung piece niya ni Kobe noon pagka mag the next take na kami. But then, yung galit ko noon was also because of our teamwork. Like, nagtulungan din kami para hugutin yung galit ko sa lahat ng past experiences ko. And yun, that really helped me just focus on that scene, internalize and focus, and we really did our best to deliver it the way na gusto ni Directa. In fairness, bongga. <laughs> <laughs> you look so expensive today, dear. Thank you, oh, Paul. <laughs> and last na lang kay Richard, sorry, di lahat ko lang. And Richard, kasi like, sa'yo naman, parang it took a while before you have this kind of break ganyan. So, was there a point that talagang you're giving it up already and iba na lang yung career na ipusta? Um, thank you for that question kasi like, that's something that I thought of before. Like when I first uh, graduated from PDD, gusto ko mag-acting eh. But then when I started my first experience, um, and I tried a little bit here and there doing workshops, but hindi ko siya nagusto. Kaya nag-hosting ako. And from hosting, I got to do so many different things. I got to host in Hong Kong, got to host in Singapore, got to host in Thailand. And parang na feel ko din hosting yung parang before they go. Tapos parang na feel ko bigla na one day, 2018, 2019, na parang may something cool lang na gusto ko yung try ulit, which is acting. Kaya that's when I reached out to Drake Lauren, we got to talk a little bit. And hence why led me to my first regular series, which was Love Thy Woman. And that was where parang yung character ko was actually Richie, same thing sa pangalan ko, which is kind of funny. And parang kalaw tingin ko nung time yun, or parang yung love interest was with Kim Chiu. And it was leading to somewhere, um, people on social media were so excited na parang to see me acting na finally after so long. And unfortunately, due to unfortunate circumstances, uh, my character got cut off because of, of course, COVID, etc. Kaya parang kung tanda sa wit, baka hindi daw para sa akin. And again, very fortunate, bumasok ulit sa hosting, sa BB Connect, was my first season. And I guess that's how I was connected to them, kasi ako, I was watching them as a host, and that was kind of funny then. And so I guess to answer your question, hindi ko naman ever na give up, kasi kinahanap ko ng ibang stuff that's for me. And throughout the last couple of years, ang dami kong ginawa, and yung nangkulang lang talaga was acting. And I'm so happy na parang it became a full circle moment na ang dito na ako. And back to my first acting gig, which was with Drek Ted then. So parang I feel like this was kind of like meant to be. And yeah, hope that answers the question. Yeah. Thank you. I congratulations everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Question here from Dab 91 FM Dubai, George from Georgia, Itada. This is for Richard. Ano yung chismis na tungkol sa'yo na imbis na magalit kayo natuwa ka pa? <laughs> <laughs> imbis na nagalit ako, natuwa pa ako. Um, wala naman akong masyadong... Ano, I guess the chismis is more of people always saying na parang hindi ako Filipino. And like I said, sabi ng tama, ay, kasi na sure, bakit siya sa showbiz, bakit siya sa PVP? I think that was the biggest issue nung time na yun, na parang, bakit pumasok sa PVP si Richard, hindi ko siya Filipino? But the thing is, the truth is, the reality, and I'm clarifying this for everyone now, I am Filipino, guys. Kasi no, so, parang yung mga tayo talk ko, malalaman na yun ako kung bakit. Parang, pinakita ko ng passport ng sampung beses, parang wala, wala, ayaw pa man yung wala yung matao. Kaya natutuwa lang lang talaga ako dyan. But yun, but bottom line is, I am a Filipino. Yes, by blood, I am Chinese. 
but by heart and by passport even. You gotta be wise. I am Filipino. So I'm office, whatever it is, which I'm not going to. I can legally speak. Okay, thank you. This is for Amanda and Chico. How do you connect with someone who doesn't thank you back? Amanda. I think we're not going to connect. It's hard, no? But it's just for me. It's just for me. Because it's easy to be able to do it. It's easy to be able to do it. So, I don't want to waste your time. But if my opportunity is to be able to do it, I hope we can talk. It's not just through chat. Or call. Because it's like a lot of people. Because if you chat or call it, you can just say no, you can decline it. So I think to connect, uh, I hope you can meet and you know sit down. And because we're in this generation of para mga hatol ng mga apps, you know, and kapag pwede sit down and have coffee or something. Okay na. Generally, it's all good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. So, what do you mean? I'm going to connect with someone who doesn't like me. I don't know. Um... No. This is really good. Oh, no. Um, I guess it's just by not forcing any connections. Because I think if it's... I said this quote, but then I said this quote when I was like, um, nominated. But if it's meant to be, so I believe that. Um, I just think that. Um, yeah, if there's if there if there's no need to if, if there's no need to connect, I think what's important is that you're just civil and respectful and kind. But there's no need to force any closeness, especially if it's really if you don't. Care. Thank you, Amanda. Yes. Chica. Loya. Vix, Vix, Michael, Amanda. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. But I want to ask you for a direct ad. Yes, Vix. Do you have an advantage that you know that they are watching you or how they are watching you? Do you have an advantage that they are watching you or how they are watching you? Sobra. Sobra naging advantage kasi I was there during the final interview and then sobra naging addict din ako sa season na yun. Like, itong recent season. So, alam, ang pinaka-advantage niya is uh, alam ko paano i-push yung buttons. Alam ko kung ano yung magpapaiyak, ano yung magpapagalit. And advantage rin na meron, usually kasi pag housemates, very open. Hindi mo na kukuha yun sa ibang artista, minsan yung mga ibang artista tinatago niya, ang daming fasad, ang daming wall. Sila wala naman saan pwede maitago, nakita ng lahat ng tao. <laughs> kung ano, kung ano sila. So, so yun. So, so yun yung advantage niya sa director. Uh, dahil medyo naging stalkerish mode ako nung season nila at na-interview ko sila in depth, alam ko kung paano i-push yung buttons para papa-acting sila. Pero ganun, ganun pa rin ba sila kung amin ang palubo sa bahay ni Kuya in real life? Si Ralph, ganun ganun siya. <laughs> Hirap sa taas. Hindi naman, kasi syempre, naka-work ko sila mga ilang months after nilang lumabas ng bahay. And syempre, ang dami na yung nangyari sa buhay nila after nilang lumabas sa PBB. So, kaya crucial yung one-on-one interview with Rose, yung writer, para malaman ko kung ano na yung situation nila. Kasi, di ba nakita mo naman sa loob ng bahay kung sila yung mga nag-dalindan-dian, mga nag-nakarutan. So, syempre, kaya mo malaman kung anong pa yan ba, Kumusta na sila? Hindi kagamitin yung work date. Happy birthday. Para naman sa mga love teams, ano yung isang bagay na sumisimbolo sa connection nyo? Yung yung dalawa. Let's start with Chico and Amanda. Hi Chico. Pero patanong ni Chica Nes, kamusta na ito si Tabi? Oh my God. Kasi sa bahay na. Kasi nung one day na ito. So sa mga hindi alam sino si Tabi, siya yung famous ko na... Joggers. Pong pong bahay. So, Mexican. So, anyways, I think ayun nakaklik talaga sa amin is like, 
the whole time kasi nandun kami sa loob sa bahay ni Kuya, um, I think naka-click yung song eh. EDM song. We like EDM songs. We like the same songs. Tapos, yeah. we, parang we like taking videos of us. Uh, pinakanta namin yun. And that's a big factor. Actually, Ralph was also. Yeah, Ralph was also from me. Kasi kami... And then same songs that you can do. Any EDM artist na paborito ninyo? Uh, Avicii. Yeah, Avicii. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yun talaga, I think it started there. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> And then, uh, parang doon. And then we started talking na aga, nag-usap na kami. What, what do you like? What, how are you in school? So, parang doon. We started with that. And you, Amanda? Um, yes, it started with that. And milk tea. I don't know why oh, milk tea yeah, reminds me. Because yeah, he's Mataka. That's one time. One time, like, sent us a house milk tea. So. Where's the first time? Chico, you're the first time. Daddy, ni Amanda, si Mary Francis. First time. Uh, first time. Ah, uh, I think so. Back in the day, was uh, I think it was community pantry. And then, um, yeah, and then we packed in and rice, and then when they met him, but I think what clicked us is uh, being an athlete, because he's basketball, because he's in your Francis. And then you know, for much more than just being a kid, you want that. Well, it's not about that. So yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, this is a sign that because na kusa na connect din po namin yung mga fans namin and supporters namin. It's the infinity sign, and infinity sign because yung support namin, yung consistency ng support namin para sa isa't isa is pahabang buhay. Like we. Like, no matter what, we will always support each other. Because there are a lot of our friends. And, of course, since sobrang, we care about each other and we want, we want to see each other like really strive for the best. So, yeah. yeah you, Max. I agree. Yeah. In infinity side. But whenever I see that, I, I, I just think of Andy right away. Actually, even I got her for her birthday, um, I know, infinity earrings wow. in Pandora. Wow! Yeah, I love it. Wow. 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 <laughs> for Andy, but yeah, like Andy said, especially being, uh, especially because we're bago in the industry, that support system we have, we really hold on to it. Um, we always push each other, kind of uh, solo projects, um, when we're working together. The support is something that we really hold on tight to. Um, okay, so my literal, but also personal natin, no? So literal would be the banana symbol. Kasi yun yung ginawa ng fans namin. They combined my last name, Banawis, at Malibunas, tapos naging Bananas. Pero personally, di ba? Well, pagkasundo po kami sa music, sa style, Style. Tapos minsan may usapan po namin country. Uh, Iba New York po siya. New York. Uh, tapos ako galing France. So minsan pinag-uusapan po namin kung ano ba itsura doon sa New York. Ano bang itsura sa France. Uh, tapos uh, iba. Mga uh, kwento namin sa... Tapos minsan like mga songs will connect through that. Na parang, yeah. Ay, Gaily! I thought of you when I heard this song. Ganun. Oh, tapos, sobrang, <laughs> tapos sobrang animated po talaga niya pag gano'n yung... Gano'n yung rap. Dahil mo nasisimakot sa kanya. Gano'n. So... 
The best, the best. Oh, no. Pero ra, kasi di ba yung pagkano sa France, tapos isang ano, Mangi Country, kung may isang lugar sa France, na, kung saan mo sila din si Gil, saan ito at pa? Where? Sa Eiffel Tower, nalalayo pa ba tayo? Oh. Oh. Dahil hindi pa ako nakakakyat, isasama na kita sa France. Ah! Ah! Nakakakyat na tayo. Sasabay tayong tignan ang mga langit. Layo na tayo. Ikaw naman, ikaw naman din sa mga na nandito sa New York. For me naman, it would have to be Dumbo Place in Brooklyn. Kasi mahilig ko sa aesthetic pictures, gano'n. So, madami siyang IG pictures for sure dun. And really great food. Matako pa sa'yo. Ikaw naman, Richard, kasi napapansin namin parang hindi na kayo madalas mag-body ng mga kabashmate mo sa PD. Do you still have connection with them? Um, honestly, kasi yung pinaka-close ko si Philip, if you remember. Philip, the one from Australia. He's back to Australia now with his kid. Tapos si Joel naman, nandito pa siya, yung Japanese guy. We still hang out once in a while, pero low-key na siya. Ano siya masyadong sa showbiz. And that's why, I guess, to a certain extent, we still connect, but just not as much as before. I mean, I would love to go to Australia to meet Philip again. He's one of my closest buddies. Actually, until now, we still talk once in a while. Pero, it is what it is, you know? That's how life is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for. Last but not least, Jinpyeon. Sorry. Hello guys. Good afternoon. Our first question for the TV Connect housemates, no? Because very, parang ang intense ng time. Because kung masok ay sa showbiz, so parang nagdouble wami na COVID and then shutdown. So parang how do you feel na yun nga ang bigat ng season na pinasukan nyo, and at the same time, you are here being launched in the first Star Magic movie. Okay, sino first? <laughs> uh, um, for me po, uh, para sa akin, grateful pa din po ako, kahit ayun nga, nag-shutdown po, and nagkaroon nga ng pandemic. Pero, sobrang nabili po ako sa PBB, sa ABS, syempre, kila Derek Lawrence, ang pumubuo po ng Pinoy Big Brother, na nagawan pa rin po nila ng paraan na makabuo ng pandemic season. And feeling ko, so ano po ako, nagpapasalamat po ako kasi kahit alam kong shutdown, magaling po sila, marami po silang platform. And sobrang digital na tayo, napakagaling nila, kaya nagawa nila ng paraan para may palabas din ang Pinoy Big Brother sa A to Z. Syempre, meron din tayong block tayo yata sa TV5 sa TV5 po yata no? so, ayun po parang magaling po talaga yung ABS kaya, the best Gail for me I have to say siguro yes it was difficult for us pero I think God's timing lang talaga yes the pandemic was a horrible time for all of us pero feel ko rin naman if it wasn't for the pandemic we wouldn't be here today so yun nga, everything happens for a reason now Si Kobe. Ayaw ko po na masalo. Ayaw ko po. Ano daw? O Andy, ikaw muna. Ano yun? Si Kobe. Go. So, for me po, gusto lang po. Pero! Gusto lang sabihin na. Happy birthday! Thank you. 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 Thank Thank you. Happy birthday, 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 Happy birth
Kasi tayo nung, uh, nung, nung answer. Anyway, go na. And, uh, yung answer for ano. Yun. The question is... I was listening because I was like... Uh, ano ko? How do you feel being launched? Kasi nga, yun nga. From your season pa lang, it was a very intense and challenging time for the network already. Pero yun. They're still able to give you this beautiful project na kayo pa ang launching. Again po, sobrang grateful ako na you know, they gave us this project. They they really trusted us to uh, work hard. Um, but it wouldn't have been possible without all the the staff uh, who helped us. Uh, she directed. I just want to say to you, Derek, and I know you know this, but you really boosted my confidence as a person. Especially some of my guest things po, whenever I'm doing acting, sa love in 40 days, mas confident ako because you, I remember you told me before, I remember you told me before, Derek, na medyo shaky ako, um, I couldn't really look into the camera and everything, but you really helped me po, Tanya. Um, si Derek Ryan din po, uh, it was a long journey. But we got through it together, and I'm so, I'm just very happy to be part of this project. And we are the ones that they picked uh, for this first movie under Star Magic Studio. Ayun. For Andy, kasi ikaw naman, kumbaga, hindi mo to launching, diba? Like you had, you have done other films na rin before this. Opo. Well, nung nag start po kasi yung batch namin, grabe, fresh na fresh yung pandemic noon. And. When you think about it, naituwi din na yung successful show ko yan. And napakilala ng ABS-CBN kami and yung mga batchmates namin nun. And now na, I have to say na even if I, I had projects from before, napakalaking honor ko rin na I got to be part of this project. It's what it's, I have to consider this as one of my biggest projects kasi a lead role. And I really got to push myself even more in my acting, in my connections with the cast you directed. And I, I am so grateful. I'm extremely grateful na grabing tiwala sa amin ng management. The fact that this is the first movie of Star Magic Studios. That idea would really inspire us and motivate us, me especially, to work harder para Thank you. For Chimanda. Go. Cinema on the side. For me, yes, po, unfortunate yung pandemic and yung pandemic and yung, shutdown. Ah, uh, shutdown. But then I think it also has its perks, especially more people were able to watch from digital platforms and. Before doing Connected, nagawa ko mga MMK, like puro support. So I'm really thankful and blessed na I was able to do this project and it really taught me discipline because the amount of focus na kailangan ko din sa mga social media and um, yeah, because filming this was kind of hard for me and I had like everyday breakdowns. <laughs> yeah, I had a really breakdown. <laughs> but then, not anymore. Happy na kasi. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy what's happening now. I enjoy the photo shoots and stuff. And that's why I was saying kanina na I enjoy seeing the fruits of the hard work. Sorry, follow up lang dun sa mention mo. How were you able to overcome? Through my friends, of course. And yung staff, grabe. Pero dina like, dina joke nila ako, like, Sasabihin ko yung card kung tumakas ka dito. <laughs> like, Christmas break note, so gusto ko lumabas labas. Bawal. So ayun. But I was able to overcome it. And yeah. Funny na lang pag inisip ko na. Last, Chica. Uh, I think, uh, yun, sinabi ni Ralph and Miguel, uh, sobrang hilap talaga. Uh, yung pumasok ka ng pandemia. And, grabe, pero... I think sa uh, yung nakita ko yung ending, I think sa uh, calling as a big four, kasi nagsumayaw kami ni Gail, at sumayaw kami ni Ralph, and ni Amanda, para 
Diba? You know, the ABS is amazing. They always make it work. I think nasa labas na kami sa bahay noon. Doon lang yung prod. And then, launching sa still up until now. Kahit, uh, you know, nakita ko yung iba na in our, with, with, when we do workshops, iba yung workshops nila in person sa aming Zoom. Parang, I'm still grateful. I'm still grateful na parang doing this and being a talented director and with talented people. It's amazing. And yung ginawa na namin yung, of course, uh, the movie and everything was the best, uh, especially doing workshops still. And the director was really hands on talaga sa akin. So, yeah, uh, it was really amazing. Amazing experience. And I really appreciate it. Thank you. Last question na lang. Directed, kasi parang lahat ng na-handle mo na sa'yo nag-uumpisa, di ba, yung mga love teams. And parang coincidentally, sila din ay nagkakatuluyan or nagkakatotohanan. So, with that experience, ano ang advice na binigay mo sa ating six love teams? And pangalawa, may nakikita ka ba sa kanila na parang magkakatotohanan ala Lisken, Josh, Leah, and Lauren? <laughs> Ako pa tayo mang lalag lang. Hindi, ah, <laughs> um... Yeah, meron. Pero hindi ko pwedeng sabihin kung sino. Hilaan na lang ng mga fans. May parang ano, nagkakalapit na si... <laughs> Naging marites. But yeah, if kung ako yung pwedeng... Gusto, actually, yung gusto ko pala yung ina-advise is... Kasi like, for, like, hindi ko naman alam na magiging Josh Lee. Obviously, when you did that movie. But, but siguro yung advice ko is... Um, ako huwag. <laughs> huwag. Kasi yung, ang pinaka longest love team sa Philippine industry, I think na kahit hanggang ngayon pwede pwede sa mawawa is diba kawarin ng ABS, si John Lloyd at si Bea, never na yun sila eh. So parang nakakatulong na uh, professional lang. Kasi pan, mahirap kasi pag kayo tapos pinang mag-away and then dissolve yung love team. Unless of course, forever pa rin kayo. Like at niya, no? ayan, sila pa rin. So baka naman may mga ganong success stories. Nag-iahing naman si Ralph. So, <laughs> so, 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 yeah. So, baka mali ako. Baka mali ako. Meron naman palang Katniel at please Ken. Hanggang ngayon sila pa rin. But if ikaw lang ang mag-aantay? Mahirap po. Siguro na yung mahirap sa akin as a director kasi I've worked with other sa mga teleserye na mga mag-jowa mag tapos pag nagka-away. Ang hirap sa set. Mahirap <laughs> sila sa set pag muna Oh, okay. Thank you, po. Salamat. Happy birthday. 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 Happ